Where is God in war? I don't believe in God anymore. Most of us Ukrainians believe in our soldiers because they're the ones who can save us from the Russians. Ito ang pahayag ni Kazenya sa interview sa kanya ng Operation Blessing Philippines nang magsagawa sila ng disaster relief operations sa Poland para sa Ukrainian refugees. Kizenya is among the millions of Ukrainians who were forced to leave their homes in areas that were being targeted by Russian rockets. They lost loved ones, properties, and jobs, gaya ni Kizenya na isang biochemist. Their lives have been drastically changed by war. Because of this, we cannot blame the war victims when they ask, Why did God allow this to happen to us? Where is God in the midst of all the suffering and brutality of war? It may be difficult to comprehend, but God is there in the middle of all the suffering during wars. He said in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will give you strength, and for sure I will help you. He also promised, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. God's light shines the brightest in darkness. After giving the food bag, an OB staff member asked Kizenya if he could pray for her. And to the staff's surprise, Kizenya agreed. More than the physical food, the OB team shared God's encouraging promises to Kizenya. It was God's love through Operation Blessing that softened her heart. Hopefully, it would also put back her trust in God because it is not just the weapons and the wisdom of men that win wars, but it is God alone who grants victory. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in these turbulent times, we place our trust in you. Direct the hearts of global leaders and other nations who play a major role in armed conflicts. Let your peace reign among the nations. Help those who are suffering because of war. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pray regularly for a country where there is armed conflict right now, and a country that plays a major part in the war crisis. You may consider supporting humanitarian organizations like Operation Blessing who bring aid to the victims of war and other calamities. Check out their website at www.operationblessing.ph Mayroong umaasa sa karwaheng pandigma at meron ding sa kabayong nagtitiwala. Ngunit sa kapangyarihan ni Yahweh na aming Diyos na nanalig kami at umaasang lubos. Awit chapter 20 verse 7. This is Trish Chu. God bless everyone.